I'm concerned that the people in my real life who know me will question why I would ever try to write a parenting book. One time I spoke at a local mom's group, and then a few weeks later, I ran into one of the moms at the grocery store and she said, oh, that's a lot of alcohol in your cart. I blamed it on my husband. Sorry, Alex. I accidentally taught my oldest a new swear word yesterday. I never wear a bra to the bus stop. Parenting is not how I thought it would be. The greatest achievement I've got going for me is that I stay. I show up every day and laugh in the face of this difficult job with no benefits or vacation days. I assume we will survive. Sometimes I call my husband on the way home from therapy and threaten to keep driving and never come back. But I come home again and again because these people need their meds and I'm the only one who knows where we keep the toilet paper and shuts drawers. I'm the only drawer shutter in the whole house. I don't understand this. If I wasn't here, all the drawers and cabinets would stay wide open with their contents spilling out for all the world to see. So I have job security. These little buggers need me to shut their drawers. I also don't know how to write a parenting book without swearing. I'll do my best. We need to lighten up about parenting. We take it way too seriously. Listen, I know these are people's lives we're playing with, but let's all dial it down a notch or two. I mean, we made it through our childhoods relatively intact. I'm in therapy, can't reproduce, and I'm admitting in a parenting book that I don't know how to parent, but other than those small things, I'm completely fine. I'm not the only one though, right? None of us really knows what we're doing. And the second we think we do, our kids change like that spinning cornucopia in the 75th Hunger Games, TikTok. The first parenting magazine I ever read freaked me out about the danger of invisible bat bites giving our babies rabies. And the other day I listened to a mom go on for 45 minutes about whether or not she should call her kid's counselor. In college, from birth to empty nesting, we read too much, plan too much, engineer too much, and probably give ourselves things like ulcers and diarrhea. We run ourselves ragged trying to be and do and give everything our kids need. And the only way to keep up this pace is if we start giving new parents time turners like Hermione Granger's in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Congrats, mom and dad, on your new baby. Here's your birth certificate and your time turner to help you be two places at once for the foreseeable future. Good luck. We are out of control and I could have been the worst. I'm a type A control freak who wants to raise perfect automatons to people please the heck out of everyone around them. Instead, I ended up with strong-willed kids who do what they want when they want. I've had to learn to let go and laugh or else they will turn on me and shove my head on a pike like in Lord of the Flies. Instead of guiding them in an orderly 19th century school marm like I pictured, I'm more like a pinball machine flicking them chaotically toward the direction I want them to head, except for when they blast right by me and end up in the hole. I've adapted. If you feel like parenting is devouring you, if your pressures and expectations are making you dread every day, then this book will help you lighten up. Maybe go to the dock and get some meds too, but bring this book while you're getting them. By the end, you'll feel one of two things. I feel like I can lighten up about raising these kids, or at least I'm a better parent than she is. I call either of those scenarios a win.